leasehold flats, would you buy them? I would. Let me tell you why I would, I would buy a leasehold flat. So many people I speak to and you say, what sort of property are you looking to buy? I'm talking about an investment, you know, something you're going to buy and rent out. So many people say, oh, I wouldn't buy a flat, no way. No bloody way, wouldn't buy a flat. And I always say, why not? No, no, there's nothing wrong with that decision, but, but why not? Um, loads of different answers. People say, oh, it's a nightmare. You know, you don't, you can't, you've got no control. Uh, some people say, oh, they, they go down in value because the, uh, the lease, as the lease goes down, in uh, down the, the value goes down. A lot of people say, um, you know, they're too noisy. They're, they're not built very well. Uh, you will never rent them. People won't want to rent them. Everyone wants to rent houses now. All sorts of, uh, all sorts of reasons. Some of those have got some element of truth to them. Um, it wouldn't stop me buying one though. Um, the, the right one, should I say? Because, for example. If you see a flat for sale and it says cash buys only, cash buys only, it's got a low lease, you can't get a mortgage on it. Now that's, that's just negligent uh, in most cases because a, an estate agent isn't a mortgage broker. Um, I know I talk about mortgages all the time, probably shouldn't do, but um, I talk about them because I know a hell of a lot about them. Um, most estate agents I haven't got a clue about mortgages. And they, they put things on adverts like, can't get a mortgage, cash buyers only, with flats with low leases. Well, for a start, I know there are mortgage companies that will uh, lend landlords a mortgage to buy a flat with a low lease. What's a low lease? I'm talking in jargon, aren't I? The, uh, a low lease is something, something lower than 75 years. Um, you know, so so it's rubbish. You can get you can get mortgages on, on those things. It's just not looking hard enough. And what they do when they go uh, to a valuation or a market appraisal, should I say, on a, on a seller's flat, and the seller says, "Oh, I've got a 60-year lease." Let's use as an example. Um, the estate agents say, "Oh dear, oh, oh dear, no." Nope. You're not going to, uh, a buyer's not going to be able to get a mortgage on that, so we're not going to be able to market to 90 odd percent of the marketplace. We're going to only be able to market to those very small percentage of people, those cash buyers, who are going to want your blood uh, when they make an offer. They're not going to, they're not going to offer the, the market value. If you had said to me that the lease was 100 years, I would have said your flat was worth 125,000. But you know, now a cash buyer is the only person we're going to be able to sell it to. So, you know, that's going to make your flat worth, you know, probably only 90,000 quid. Absolute rubbish. Nearly said the B word. So, why is that rubbish? Well, what they need to do, you can't actually work out the value of a flat with a lower lease unless you know how much the cost of the lease extension is going to be. For example, if a flat's only got 60 odd years left on it, depending on the area, depending on the level of ground rent, etc., etc., there is a methodology to how you work out how much um, a lease extension is going to cost. But typically, um, you're looking at uh, something like 15,000 quid, uh, somewhere between 15 and 20,000 pounds for a lease that's got 60 years remaining. So if it's going to be worth £120,000 with a new lease and the lease quotation you get in is going to cost £15,000, well then I'd be saying, well, we need to market this property in e either or two different ways. You either say, the property is £105,000 and if you want to get a new lease, it's going to cost you fifteen pounds Then it's going to be worth one twenty. Sounds fair enough. It, or I would say, market the property at £120,000 and say, but it's going to come with a new lease. Nothing, uh, nothing, uh, you know, 
really intelligent about that. Pretty simple maths, really. Pretty obvious. So I wouldn't go valuing someone's property at 90,000 or 80,000 pound because I can only sell it to a cash buyer. I just simply take the cost of the lease extension off the full market value with a lease, a new lease, and pitch it at that. Um, but then I can hear a lot of state agents out there saying, oh, you bloody idiot, bloody idiot Giles, um, they can't get a mortgage on it. All right, let's, let's pretend there aren't any mortgage lenders that, won't, uh, that don't lend on short lease flats. Let's just humor those estate agents at the moment that, that believe that. Um, all right, well, as long as the current seller has owned that property for at least two years, minimum of two years, well, their buyer can use that time that they've owned the property, because you have to own, uh, own a property for two years before you can actually extend the lease, have the right to extend the lease. So, but a buyer can piggyback off the seller's ownership, and whilst they're getting a, any mortgage they want, not, not a specific lender, that will only lend to um, short lease, uh, on short lease flats, any mortgage lender, any mortgage lender out there who who gives buy to let finance, or even just as a homeowner. Um, so you get your pick of all lenders, as long as the seller says, yeah, I'll let you piggyback on the two years plus that I've owned this property. You can you can have a brand new lease uh, as soon as you uh, as soon as you complete the purchase. So in real terms, when you see an agent's advert saying cash buyers only, if that seller has owned that leasehold property for two years or more, then there's absolutely no reason why that estate agent would say cash buyers only when marketing that property. If you see that, then I'm afraid they're just an, they're ignorant. They don't they haven't bothered to educate themselves to the point uh, where they know they can um, expand that market for their sellers and get them a much better price for their property. So if you own a leasehold flat and the state agent's saying, oh, sorry, mate, cash buyers only on this one, you'd have to take uh, a rock bottom price. It's bullshit. There's the B word, I'm sorry. So if you want to speak to an agent that knows how to maximize the sale price of your property, not just leasehold properties, any type of property, somebody who knows intricately exactly the methodology used to get the highest possible price for a property, you want to give me a ring. I look forward to hearing from you. If, on the other hand, though, you are looking to get a bit of a deal, then you'll see this advert that I found on rightmove.co.uk. Quite easy to find, lots of estate agents uh, not doing their sellers, their vendor clients justice. So here's one here. It says, cash investors only due to short lease. So this one, for example, uh, is on the market for £90,000. Um, and I've had a little look into it and the lease, if you extended the lease, I would estimate that lease to cost about £15,000. But that flat, there's other flats very, very similar, uh, selling for 130,000 quid. So the estate agent here is not doing their seller any justice. What they should have done is found out that the lease extension would cost about 15,000. Say, that's gonna be worth about 130 with a new lease. So we should be marketing this property at 115,000 plus 15,000 for a new lease. But as they've got it on the market for 90 grand, because they think they can only actually go for cash buyers, what an opportunity for people like me and you who are looking for a bit of a deal. Um, you can go off and um, negotiate hard because the estate agent has advised uh, their seller that they are gonna have to take a low offer from a cash buyer. Get out there, get the deals, they're all out there. Uh, good luck, let us know. If you find somewhere, just give me a ring and I'll, um, I'll have a look at in, into it for you. Have a good day. Thank you.